So another tragedy at the opposite end of the country now. China's been plagued by health scandals over the past few years. The latest is taking place in the northeastern province of Heilongjiang, where nurses injected children with medicine that was a full six months out of date. BUN's Tom Spender has more. A sight no parent wants to see. Their children lying in the intensive care unit, drips feeding into their tiny bodies. Seventeen young children are under observation in this hospital in northeastern China, their lives hanging in the balance. And their angry parents say they have been poisoned by medical staff, the very people who should be ensuring their health. The children were suffering from measles, but nurses injected them with medicine that was six months out of date and was unsafe. As the out-of-date medicine, a glucose solution, entered the already sick children's bodies, parents said they began experiencing new symptoms. They went into shock, their lips turned blue, and they became gripped by fever. The outraged parents besieged the Harbin Infectious Diseases Hospital, demanding an explanation. My daughter used to be very energetic. Two days after taking this medicine, she's not energetic anymore. She's been transferred into the intensive care unit, and the doctor says there's only a 10% possibility that she'll survive. It's all because of this medicine, see? But now we can't find that medicine bottle. They've carried all of them out of the hospital. We only found this one in the trash. By the time we found out that the medicine was out of date, my son had already gone into shock. He had an allergy, his hands and feet felt cold, and his lips had turned blue. There were chaotic scenes in the hospital, as tempers frayed in the highly charged atmosphere. For one woman, the prospect of losing her loved one was so terrifying that she collapsed to the ground. Other parents held up jars that clearly showed just how long ago the medicine that was administered to their children had expired. Horrified medical staff choked back tears as they struggled to deal with the situation. The Ministry of Health has launched a full inquiry. It fired the nurse who administered the glucose solution and gave demerits to the hospital's head of nursing and director. The ministry said the hospital should have disposed of the medicine when it expired and nursing staff should have checked its use-by date before administering doses. It added that it would also pay for the treatment that the 17 children were receiving. But health officials stopped short of admitting full responsibility. Instead, they claimed that the out-of-date glucose solution did not pose a health risk. They said any unusual symptoms suffered by children after taking it were instead caused by the measles that they were originally being treated for. However, relatives have dismissed this version of events. My child has had many of these injections. We discovered yesterday that it was out of date. We didn't ask for that medicine bottle at that time. The children who got measles were all injecting this kind of medicine, the same batch number. Now the children have a fever. When I came here two days ago, my sister was still alive, but now she's in the intensive care unit, and I don't know what's going to happen to her. I'm looking for a doctor, but they aren't even talking to us. They just say it's normal. The incident is the latest in a series of health scandals in China. In April, improperly stored vaccines in Shanxi province were reported to have killed at least four babies. In 2008, Thousands of infants developed kidney stones in a scandal that was hushed up by some officials until after the Beijing Olympic Games had ended. Such scandals can be especially cruel because they may deprive parents who have dutifully followed China's one-child policy of their only offspring. Thankfully, none of the children in Harbin have died so far, and three have actually been discharged. But for the parents of the remaining 14 children lying prone in their hospital beds, the anxious and tense wait continues. Tom Spender, EON. Well, some very distressing images there. And as a mother myself, my heart goes out to those parents because you feel so helpless when your child's lying there ill because you realise how vulnerable they are and also guilty because you think, you know, if only I'd done this or perhaps I could have prevented it. So, uh, some really, really distressing Very images. distressing.